is literally the end of the vlog. Um, small little chat. I to slap a wig on because my braids is um, old. It's like a week old. But between work and it being so hot in Michigan that my hair can't take it personally. But I'm in such like a good headspace. You know, certain stuff is questionable and certain stuff is hard. But overall, um, I'm in a great um, headspace. Um, I just moved uh, almost a week ago. So it'll be a week Thursday and just to be by myself and you know be fairly you know independent I've always been independent but <clears throat> to not have to worry about like nothing for real not have to like deal with like extra unnecessary stress or um, uh, unnecessary irritation um, none of that um, you know be able to create in my own space be able to you know think in my own space be able to you know freely do what I want um, just to be able to like grow. That's what I'm really, that's the goal, for real. Just to grow, to glow, to continue doing what I know best to do. And continue being great. And um, just continue, continue being me. Um, a lot of stuff has happened this year. A lot of people have disappeared. A lot of people has just, everybody just kind of gone in separate ways and that's okay, you know. Some things are um, not meant um, for me to understand. And I'm okay with that now, because before I was not. Um, had a lot of like hard discussions, a lot of hard, like a lot of times being hard on myself about certain situations that I can't control from people. Um, I've had friendships that deteriorated, I've had relationships with family that get deteriorated, I've had, you know, to make some uncomfortable decisions um, with not dealing with people or uh, I feel like, in my opinion, I, I've known the person for, if I've known you for over the 10 years and I feel like if you fall out, like, there's just not such thing as us falling out, but I had to deal with that, um, that came with its own price. I just always look at, you know, certain shit as in if somebody does me wrong or if they're wrong in a situation, they blame you about it, then you have to get away from me and you have to let them be and you focus on yourself so they can focus on they say you know you know that you're gonna do great and be great you just gotta hope and pray that they'll do the same as you and that's the way life is sometimes um it's just still so like when i get off work it's just still so mind-blowing to me that I'm going, I have, I'm going home to my place, just me, um, my boyfriend's been here with me, keep me company, but the most part is I don't have to do with nobody else besides him, and that I'm okay with that, um, you know, work, work is hard, <clears throat> work has, um, definitely, tested my mental capacity for sure like sometimes when I'm there I can't process I can't think 
um, I get like super overwhelmed, super anxious, um, um, just like a lot of anxiety. And then I just kind of like stare off of like my future. Like, what do you want? What do you want to do, Felicia? <laughs> what do you want to do? I know for a fact that I'm going back to school, finish that up. Um, I want to continue making videos, content, um, anywhere to be creative. Um, I'm just trying to see what, you know, my life is going to be at in a couple months or, you know, a year or something like that, you know. I took a trip um, for my birthday with my friend, my childhood best friend, um, for three days, you know. It was rough getting there, for sure. It was a lot of um, oops and a lot of people backing out at the last minute or a lot of people that didn't want to go in the beginning. There was a lot of that going on, but um, we figured it out. We definitely cried before we got there because it was just hectic. Like, I needed a vacation, she needed a vacation, and we turned out had a good time. Um, I came back, went to work, and got back on the grind. Um, I think I was just in the mindset of um, staying with my aunt. It's like, when I came back home, I was just like, I gotta get out of here. Like, that's where I was at. Like, I gotta figure out how to get out of here. And you know, like, the cost of living is crazy. And I managed to find somewhere that I can afford and um, create. I said when, um, when I moved um, that I was going to make more content, be more productive, um, be just, you know, see where it goes. You know, I kind of got like super like, um, I guess you could say discouraged when I first started doing YouTube like a year ago. And I got discouraged because I wasn't getting the views that I, you know, thought or I wasn't, you know, making a lot of noise apparently. And I kind of just stopped because I was just like so discouraged. Like, okay, nobody's watching me. You know, I'm putting all this time into making some videos and editing is hard to do when you're just doing it on your phone. And I'm doing all this stuff and nobody cares nobody's watching it so that was hard to do and um somebody told me um if you ever see this thank you somebody told me that um don't stop don't stop it's discouraging in the beginning but don't stop the only way somebody's gonna stop watching um your videos is if you stop posting and that's exactly what i did i stopped posting i think the last video i uploaded a full YouTube video. I think it was maybe like Christmas or something like that last year. But um, yeah, she said don't don't start posting. Um, um, continue posting. You know, you never know what happens. So that's the goal. Um, that's what I'm really just about to start focusing on more. Is uh, giving y'all more content. You don't even have to be makeup videos or nothing like that I don't make you see anything um I think sometimes I get I feel a little weird you know walking around holding the camera if I'm like out or at a store or something like that but a lot of people do it I just don't I hate when people look at me I, I can't stand it but um that's really where I am I'm in a good headspace I'm really happy actually where I'm at like I'm really happy um I don't sound like I'm tired but I'm really happy um, a lot of everything else will you know fall in line you know I'm just being I'm being patient about it um, like my dad said enjoy the moment and um, I'm enjoying it you know I really am you know. I don't know when you're gonna get it you might get it
I'll give y'all like whatever videos y'all want, maybe maybe whatever I come up with. Um, I might the next video I might do I might do like a look game or something. But I might have somebody do it with me. This is how my makeup came out. I didn't put any um, fake lashes on because my lashes have grown a lot. Um, my eyebrows is a little thicker because I haven't been to the um, place to get them done. Honestly, I kind of like them like this, you know. Um, this is how it turned out. Turned out pretty good. I use the stitch palette for this right here. For it to be coming from TJ Maxx, it's not really that bad. It's not bad. Um, I've been have these. Um, I don't know where I was going for. Um, this pink, I use this from a different palette. This palette is from, you can tell it's, it's kind of coming off, but it was from Timu. Um, don't knock them till try it. Um, I haven't did my makeup in a long time. I used to do my makeup like every week or every other day. I just, I don't know, I maybe, I love doing my makeup and I love makeup. I just, I feel like I just don't have like the passion for it in the moment because I just been so like caught up on shit, like caught up on moving and you know, not wanting to pick up a camera so y'all can see me in my weakest moment, um, having meltdowns and crashing and stuff. But um, I'm gonna um, start taking vlogging more often. I'm gonna start taking y'all with me. Like uh, next week, my schedule is pretty busy. Um, I would like to take y'all with me to work, but it's kind of hard when you can't have like you're not supposed to have your cell phone out. But I'll figure that out when I figure that part out but um yeah this is the final look this wig I had this wig for my birthday so don't say nothing but um thanks for watching